Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Gray markets finished up lower last week. You had corn and soybeans leading the way to the downside as, ga as cash basis plumbled throughout the U.S. and in the Gulf. Uh, you had wheat lower as well. Not quite as much, though. Export demand has seen a strong for wheat. You got China's expected to be purchasing a lot of the wheat due to the fact that they had such a wet growing season. So a lot of their crop was destroyed due to that. So they're expected to import a lot of wheat from the U.S., and also, South America, there's areas that are having frost concerns. This isn't something that's normal for them. The area I was reading about uh, hadn't had a frost concern, I think, since 2000. So that should amp up demand for U.S. wheat as well. Uh, but corn and soybeans really stole the show last week due to the pressure to the downside. When basis collapses like it did, the futures markets just followed right along with it. Corn sold off hard. Soybeans sold off over a dollar. So it was really depressing prices due to the fact that cash basis levels fell like they did. Uh, moving forward this week, we got crop progress out today at 3 p.m. Central. Expect good to excellent ratings to remain around the same for corn and soybeans. They might rise a percent or two, but most of the trades expect them to remain around where they are. And moving forward, we got the crop progress. Keep your eye on the weather reports. Those things are going to be critical moving forward. Right now, we've got cool weather. There are some areas that don't have a whole lot of rain or in need of some rain, but due to the fact that we're having the cool weather that we are, it's not pressuring crops like it did last year. I think the high was 65 in Chicago on Saturday. I think that was the lowest high we'd had in July since the 80s. So cool weather is not hurting the crops as much as it would if we had the heat and the dry weather. So keep your eye on those weather reports moving forward as that's what the trade is going to keep their eye focused on. Uh, today, corn is a little oversold, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it bounce, but I would also be, I wouldn't be surprised to see soybeans trend in their downtrend that they've established as well. So that's all we've got for today. Have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.